Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at solving some exponential equations. So the main idea of solving an exponential equation is to first isolate the exponential and then use logarithms to get that exponent down out of the exponent. Alright, so our first example we've got 7 to the x minus 4 equals 49. Now this is actually a special one because both of the numbers that we have that are not in the exponent are powers of 7. And so 7 and 49 can both be written as 7 raised to a power. So 7 is just 7 to the first, and then that's raised to the x minus 4. And 49 can be written as second, 7 squared. When we have two bases that have the same or two exponentials that have the same base, we can ignore those bases and just set those exponents equal to each other. Technically what we're doing here is we're taking the log base 7 of both sides and simplifying that to just the exponents. Alright, so we get x minus 4 equals 2, so x is equal to 6. And you can plug that back in and you do see that 6 minus 4 is 2, and 7 squared is equal to 49, and so that is our solution. Now in this next example, we have 5 to the x equals 3.1. Now this one, we cannot use the same approach because 3.1 and 5 are not both powers of the same number, at least not one of the rational numbers that we're familiar with. So what we want to do is actually what we did here, it just isn't going to simplify quite as nicely on that right hand side. So we have 5 in the base, so we can take log base 5, and it really doesn't matter what base you use here, as long as what you do to one side, you do to the other. Log base 5 just makes that left hand side simplify quite nicely, because we have log base 5 of an exponential with a base 5, those are inverse operations, and so they undo each other, and we're left with just the exponent, just like we saw in the previous example. But on the right-hand side, log base 5 of 3.1 does not simplify. So to finish solving this for x, we just need to move that negative to the other side, and we get negative log base 5 of 3.1, and you could use your calculator, plug that in, and get a decimal approximation if the need arised. All right, we do have to have that exponential isolated before we can do anything. We must follow order of operations and deal with that exponent before we do any multiplication. So on our next example, we have four times the quantity three to the nine X equals seven. So we need to get rid of that four. We cannot multiply that four and the three because that three is raised to an exponent, but we can divide both sides by four and we'll get 3 to the 9x equals 7 over 4. And here, now we're in the same point we were on the previous problem. We can take the log base 3, and I'm picking 3 because it's the base of the exponential. You could always use common log or always use natural log and do the exact same thing. It just doesn't simplify quite as cleanly. So here we have the log base 3 of 3 to the 9x, the log base 3 and the exponential base 3 are going to undo each other, and we're going to be left just with that exponent of 9x. On the right-hand side, we have log base 3 of 7 over 4, and then divide that by 9 to get our x by itself. Or you could write this as 1 ninth times that log base 3 of 7 fourths might be a little bit easier way of typing it into a calculator or into a homework program. All right, our next example, this one we've got a little bit of a um, jump up as far as the, the level of this next problem. Here we have 6 to the 1 minus 9x equals 5 to the x. So now we have variables on both sides of the equations, but we have them isolated, and so we can get rid of our 
exponent, our variable in the exponent um, by using logarithms. Since we've got one that's a six and one that's a five in the base, you could pick one of those two values or you could just go with a common log or a natural log. The only time that it would make any difference whatsoever is if you could get rid of one of them um, using a common or natural log. I'm going to go ahead and just do natural log of both sides here. So we'll take the natural log of 6 to the 1 minus 9x and you can, like I said, you can use either natural or common log would be my recommendation on this one. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides and then the reason we want to involve logarithms is so that we can get that exponent down because remember we have the power rule for logarithms. We can take something that is in the form of log base b of x raised to a power and bring that power down and write it as a coefficient. So we're going to do the same thing here. That exponent, 1 minus 9x, is going to be out front multiplied by our log natural log of 6 or log base e of 6. Do the same thing on the right hand side. We're going to bring that x down and write that as x times the natural log of 5. Now we want to solve this for x. So we need to get all of our x's on one side. In order to do that, we need to distribute natural logs of 6 on the left. So 1 times the natural log of 6 is the natural log of 6. Negative 9x times the natural log of 6 is just negative 9x times the natural log of 6. And then we have x times the natural log of 5 on the right. Let's go ahead and get all of our x's together. So I'm going to add 9x natural log of 6 to both sides. And then we can factor out on the right hand side, we can factor out a greatest common factor. Or really, we just want to factor out that x, even if we did have a common factor. So if we factor out that x, we're going to be left with the natural log of 5 from our first term and 9 times the natural log of 6 on our second term. We cannot combine any of those. Just like with square roots, you can't do something with what's outside by what's inside and you can't combine like radicals or can't combine radicals unless they are like radicals. Um, so nothing we can do to combine here, but to get this x by itself, we are going to divide both sides by that parentheses. And we get the natural log of 6 over the natural log of 5 plus 9 natural log of 6. Sometimes you'll see that combined and condensed back down, um, but that is a simple form. All right, our last example here, we have 6 to the 2x plus 6 to the x plus 1 equals 55. Now, we can't write this one the same way we did the previous one because we cannot isolate both of those exponentials. We're going to have that 55 in there somewhere, um, and 55 is not a power of 6. So this one's going to take a little bit different approach. But in uh, previously in algebra, we looked at... Uh, equations that we called quadratic in form. And that's where we have had something that we could write in the form of a times u squared plus b times u plus c equals zero. The one thing that we looked at was whatever the power here was, it was double on the other variable. Now this one, we've got an x plus 1 and a 2x, so it's not double. But we can rewrite this middle term here. Instead of writing that as 6 to the x plus 1, when we have exponents that are added, that means we can write it as a power times a power. So 6 to the x plus 1 is the same thing as 6 to the x times 6 to the 1, or 6 times 6 to the x. So we can write this as 6 times 6 to the x. I'm going to go ahead and move that 55 over. Now we do have the case where we've got 
the same base raised to the double power. So we are going to let our u substitute for 6 to the x. And so that means if we double that power, that'll be a u squared. Plus, we've got this 6 coefficient out front times what we're plugging in for u. And we still have minus 55 equals 0. And now this is the case that we looked at with quadratic and form. Factors of negative 55 that add to 6 are going to be 11 and negative 5. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so finish solving that, we get u equals negative 11 or u equals 5. Now we can plug that back in. That's going to give us 6 to the x equals negative 11 or 6 to the x equals 5. And to finish solving that for x, now we're at the same place where we started the first couple of examples. We can take log base 6 of both sides and on the left of both of our equations we're going to get x but log base 6 of negative 11 we cannot take a log with a negative argument so this is going to be undefined it's going to be an imaginary value but that one we're going to throw out and then on the right, we'll get log base 6 of 5. And we can check our work on that. Plugging in the calculator, we've got 6 raised to the 2 times, uh, let, me, let me put that in first. So let's do alpha window log base, and we'll get log base 6 of 5. All right, so there's our decimal approximation. So if we do 6 raised to the 2 times that answer, to get that answer, we can either scroll up and get it, or we can do second negative, and it'll just type in the last answer we just got, plus 6 raised to that answer, plus 1. And we do get 55 as that. So that answer works out. That is our solution. All right, I'll see you guys next time.